Now, uh, one of the songs that you did a collab with was, was actually one of my favorites. Is the one you did with H Crown when y'all was oh, in the yeah, backyard my, lifting weights. My brother, What's the name man. of that song? Uh, fuck Willie Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck Willie Lynch. Real talk. Yeah, man, I miss that fool, man. So tell everybody um, a little bit about that song, H Crown, and you know, and what happened to him. Me and Crown being rocky before the song. You know, he a gangster off the fifties. You know what I'm saying? But he felt that I was a right fit for the song. I jumped on it for my brother. You know what I'm saying? We put the video out, it was a nice song. Um He ended up just getting caught up, man, I think out of state. Getting caught up, the devil working, got him fighting a murder case. Right when you at your peak, cause he got a magazine, he on a magazine cover too. That it's on his on on his um I seen it on his page. I forgot what it's called. But um it be like right when you at your peak sometime, shit happens. And that shit'll knock you all the way off. Like the bullshit case I was fighting. I had to rebuild, you know what I'm saying? Fight for my name and everything. When you had to sit down for that, what was that about a year? Did did it really take you back to when you when when you get out, you're really starting all over? Like even though you had an opportunity to turn yourself in, so you can prep everything you gotta have done before you go to jail. And then hopefully when you get out, you can start, you know, with the wheels spinning. Like, what's going on through your mind when you know you got to sit here in this jail cell for like a year? It was just finding myself again, my mistakes, the, the decisions I was making. I wasn't capitalizing on that every time I went down. When I, even I was on YA from camp to the county just doing violations, like, I was always game banging. My, my mentality was to transform into a monster as soon as I hit them cages. And it's on and cracking. So I really never had time to sit down and really think because I was building my reputation in the county and the prison and you know what I'm saying? Letting my G homies know how I move. Once you begin to build your reputation, you're able to chill now. Niggas know your name and all of that. They know who you are. They know how you get down. You're going to get that respect, but you show it back. You feel me? You don't attack it or abuse it or be a bully, you know what I'm saying? A certain, a lot of fools in the county I got into it with didn't want to fade. I didn't approach it or keep pressing them. It was just out of respect, all right, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how I go, bro. Yeah, My name is being a little salty. It holds a whole lot of weight on it. It's just due to my father, me having to follow behind his big ass footsteps, but be my own salty because that's what our name stands for, the only one. So me, my brother, my sister, my little cousins, everybody that's a Sodi, we have to be our own Sodi in our own way. But, man, she keep a nigga focused, man. Sitting in there having to think about building my fans back, winning them back, because they'll leave you. Yeah, so what was it like? Like, what did you le what did you lose? Like, being gone, do you lose? You your lose social fans. media kind of dies yeah, down yeah. a little bit. All of that shit. All of that shit. It just stops because people, you don't, they don't see you no more. It's like out of sight, out of mind. But when I went to prison and I post a post, I got like 8,000 viewers. Where you been? What's going on? But they see I'm in jail, <laughs> shirt off, posing, you feel me, on Instagram. So I'm like, damn, they still love me. But you lose a lot of them because they don't, especially out of state, people from out of town, they don't know where you at or they don't see you no more. But I had to get out and get all that shit back by doing, putting out good music, good interviews like with you. You helped me too. So what, what, do, you, what do you gotta do to make sure you don't end up in that situation again? Cause I'm sure that's the last thing you want to happen right now. Cause it looks like you got some good momentum Right now, I just, I just be me, man. Like I said, like my life changed when my son died. Um, everybody know who I am. I don't have shit to prove. You know what I'm saying? I am the face of my hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm the face now. A lot of G homies, shout out to them. I love them. They had they shine too. 
But I'm the mascot of the set right now. Everybody know it. The streets, the music, rap niggas know it. I'm the mascot. So I have to just keep myself humble. I watch what I post. You know what I'm saying? I don't be dissing niggas how I used to. You know how I was, bro. When I dropped Hard in the Paint, that was me. I was really still, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just more humble now. I, I view life different. I travel a lot. You see different shit. You meet different. You run into different money. So you would want to live so you can be able to spend that money and see your kids grow up, give them a better life than you have. So yeah, man. I think a life changed, man. I'm calm. Now when you say you're the mascot in the face of the hood, do you think that other people in your neighborhood, because your neighborhood is, is large. I mean, there's like multiple sides and Hell yeah. everybody's always trying to uh, say they're running things and they're in control. Do you think saying that you the mascot and, and you the face creates maybe tension amongst other people within your same neighborhood? Hell no, nah, man. Because I did everything I was supposed to do for my neighborhood, from the jail time to the street shit. And all my G homies respect me. They love me. My little homies know the truth. You know what I'm saying? I never was a bully. But if you ever did anything wrong or foul, you got your ass whooped, you feel me? And that's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? So I'm the voice. I'm the voice. I, I, I'm the one to where I can speak values for my set to the community. And they listen. Like I could get on these cameras and say, my set has changed. There's no dark cloud over my hood anymore. I'm bringing the positiv positivity to my set, to my community. Me, the mascot, Lil Sodi. Um, I don't take nothing from my big homies. They know that, that's why they respect me and they love me because I show them the utmost respect. I get my cripping from them. I get my long socks and my, my shit from my daddy, my Stacy's and shit like that from my daddy. I grew up around my G homies. So it was nothing like, like who this little nigga is? Like, who he is? Like, who he? Nah, they know who I am. They, grew, I, they, they watch me grow up. They watch how I become a man. You know what I'm saying? And they love that. They want to see the set in cameras in a positive way. Doing something and letting the community know we a part of something. We is doing positive things over here. We is giving away backpacks to my homie, um, Baby Spike. He got his own um, foundation. He, we are giving away backpacks doing giveaways for kids and school things I, I, I was a part of and I invested in and gave backpacks too. That's why I'm happy my big homie, Lil Spike, my baby Spike doing shit like that so we can be able to be a part of the kids, the schools and things like that. So we are doing positive things in the, in the community, the A-Trey Gangsters, man. We ain't just out here murdering and robbing and chasing niggas down, you know what I'm saying? We will. Niggas is still active. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> but, man, we trying to get money, too. Leave us alone. Let us get money, too. Let us have time to show the community respect. You feel me? Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net.